Hello, and welcome to this edition of BEA News. I'm Gabby Raby. And I'm Kyle Orleans. As this goes down in one of the worst pranks in history, Australian police have found the young boy who had admitted to various food pranks such as putting needles in strawberries. Police say they do not know the motive for the attack, but they are still investigating and looking for more suspects. Because of this prank, demands for fruit is decreasing and strawberry farmers are forced to throw out produce at risk for being contaminated. The suspect is being dealt with under the youth cautioning system. A new way to stay refreshed will reduce plastic consumption in England. To avoid using an excessive amount of plastic during the Harrow Half Marathon this September, a biodegradable water pouch will be passed out. Designed by a London-based company, Skipping Rocks Lab, the pouch is made up of sodium alginate, an all-natural composition derived from brown algae and calcium chloride. The new pouches contain 250 milliliters of liquid and only cost two cents to make. They can hold a sports drink or water and will be tested during the marathon. Hurricane Florence has seeds to storm, but left large amounts of flooding in its wake. Florence has claimed at least 37 lives from both the Carolinas and Virginia. The rainy sage from Florence has left towns and cities cut off from the rest of the state because of the flooding. North Carolina's governor has suggested that no one should return home yet because the flooding could get worse. North Carolina's governor, Roy Cooper, stated, our, ho our state took a gut punch, but people are still reeling. President Donald Trump visited North Carolina Wednesday to see the damage. Disasters in Utah as fires continue to burn, with over 6,000 people evacuated and more than 1,300 firefighters working in the heat. One note a family left surprised the hearts of many. Firefighter Matthew Bills took a photo of a sign he found at an evacuated home that read, Firefighters, there's drinks and food in the fridge on the porch. Bless you in the fight. In such a time of despair and destruction, the heartfelt note was read by passing firefighters, and they replied back writing, Thank you. As residents have already noticed in Louisiana, it's been miserably hot in the New Orleans area. In the past few days, New Orleans has suffered record high temperatures for the month of September. The temperature of Tuesday, September 18th was a record breaking 97 degrees. This beat the previous record breaker, 95 degrees, on the same day in 1955. The temperature plans to cool up after an expected cold front comes next week. In Walker, Louisiana, there's controversy of a new business being built that could be a major traffic nightmare for locals. The construction of a new Dollar General by Ballpark Street and Highway 447 is concerning residents because of the heavy traffic that will pass through large commercial trucks and also 18-wheelers. Some speak out saying it will increase the danger of traffic accidents in the community. The problem with the, the Dollar General being built in the location it is, is one, uh, that's an, uh, a completely new factor that drivers are going to have to take into account when pulling out of the subdivision. As others say that their property will lose value. Honestly, I mean, this is, it, it's a scary thought, you know. Um, am I getting ready to make a purchase that's going to end up not being panned out to what I thought it was? Is it going to cost me more money because I bought the house just because the dollar store is here. Walker police are abiding by the citizens' concerns, and now the Dollar General must be approved by the Department of Transportation and Development before the site can have its permit. Despite the heat, students of Southeastern University still enjoyed the student-run farmer's market on campus. The event was hosted by the Reconnect Club in front of the student union from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The market featured locally grown produce with homemade jams, pies, drinks, soaps, and local music. The farmer's market comes to campus three times for the fall and spring semesters. As the school semester starts, so does a new season for the Southeastern Columbia Theater. The theater announces its new schedule, including an array of live music, dance, and art. The theater opens its curtains officially September 27th with the Southeastern Opera and the Theater Workshop's presentation of Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods. The production is scheduled for the 27th and 28th at 7.30 p.m. For more information about showtimes, the Columbia Theater is located at 220 East Thomas Street in Hammond or visit their website at columbiatheater.org. Well, that's it for this edition of BA News. If you'd like to find out more about the BA, follow us on Facebook. Or check out our website at seobea.com. I'm Kyle Orleans. And I'm Gabby Raby. Thanks for watching.